Well, good evening. Um, I did some research this weekend, so I want to share a few things with you. Um, I uh, was browsing through the American Conservative website the other day, and it seems that uh, quite a few conservatives, uh, true conservatives in this country, seem to be getting quite pissed off at the situation that we're in. So uh, they have a little blog on their uh, website, and people write in. And one of those people who um, posted uh, <coughs> a, a little article was uh, Philip Giraldi. Now, um, I uh, uh, somehow that name rang a bell, and so um, I did a quick search on Wiki uh, on the Wikipedia, and I'll share that with you. Philip Giraldi is um, actually, I'm sorry, the light is really bright here on my screen. Philip Giraldi is, a, uh, is actually uh, a former officer of the, uh, of the CIA, and he became famous in uh, 2005 when he claimed that uh, uh, the United States was preparing plans to attack, uh, attack Iran with nuclear weapons in a response to uh, another terrorist action against the United States, independently um, of whether Iran was involved in that action or not. And he, uh, it says that he, he serves presently as a partner in an international uh, security uh, consultant uh, agency named Canistraro uh, Associates. And um, I might also want to mention, that uh, might be a point of interest, that Giraldi is, has also served as Ron Paul's um, foreign policy advisor uh, during um, during his presidential campaign. So um, <clears throat> here is uh, actually what he said in this, uh, uh, in this little piece that he wrote. Republican candidate, um, and he calls, it the, he calls it the dream ticket, sarcastically speaking, actually. Republican candidate uh, presumptive uh, John McCain uh, is interviewing possible vice presidents this weekend. Now, he meant this past weekend, Memorial Day weekend. We don't know what the outcome of those conversations were. The number of uh, conservative, uh, and he puts this in quotation marks, Republicans, uh, including um, Romney, um, Christ, uh, and Jindal will be involved, but the media is generally not reporting that uh, Senator Joe Lieberman is also one of the finalists. I predicted back in February that McCain uh, would opt for his sometime Democratic soulmate to create a national unity dream ticket that would transcend uh, party lines. Now, this is all Giraldi talking here. The maverick Republican linked to the independent Democrat would presumably attract numerous voters disenchanted with political orthodoxy, <laughs> and McCain might well be calculating that two hawks would secure the uh, uh, allegiance of the Republican Party base, apart from us pasty-faced peace creeps who consider Iraq an abomination. That such a ticket would also guarantee war forever with everybody everywhere would be one of the fringe benefits for defense contractors, lobbyists, and the resurgent neocons. Now, this is a conservative uh, person writing in the American Conservative. There was a, another little piece uh, written by a person named Kelly. Uh, Blahos, um, I couldn't find anything out about her, but uh, <coughs> she writes uh, about Frederick Kagan, and of course he was one of the architects of the Iraq War. Um, his uh, brother is also in involved, you know, the, these are the arch neocons who are making suggestions. And she says, uh, might I suggest that if uh, Frederick, uh, Frederick Kagan wants to grow the Army and Marines to 900,000 by 2012, then he had better strap on some boots and join the rest of the 1.7 million men and women who have already deployed in and out of the war zone while he's enjoyed a comfy perch at the American Enterprise Institute for the last six years. 
The man is barely 40 years old, but speaks about moving soldiers and marines around the Middle East like chess pieces. And according to his Wikipedia bio, he has spent his entire career behind ivy walls and not one day in uniform. His choosing victory, a plan for success in Iraq, was the well-circulated plan that served as a template for the so-called surge strategy uh, last year, only belied his tone-deaf and highly detached position when he wrote so blithely, the ground forces must accept longer tours for several years. National Guard units will have to accept increased deployments during this period. Thanks to a war strategy orchestrated and promoted by Kagan and his Washington peers and colleagues, the Army is in a real jam today. It acknowledges uh, that it needs more men and women to ease the brutal deployment tempo of active duty, but knows it can't lower its recruiting standards much further. Already is, it is accepting more high school dropouts and convicted criminals, those with uh, typical uh, physical impairments and behavior problems as well. Hell, the, hell, the Army set up a recruiting booth, this uh, person writes, complete with uh, training videos and a huge blow-up G.I. Johnny at my, scum, at my son's school field day this week, and he's in elementary school. Tens of thousands of soldiers and Marines who have returned from duty in Iraq and Afghanistan today lay maimed and in hospitals, in beds at home, shuttling back and forth to the VA centers for physical and mental injuries, looking for jobs, self-medicating, taxing, and straining and testing their families with their new realities. But the writer here didn't mention uh, what were the newest figures that just came out that uh, the suicide attempts are, uh, of uh, vets from Iraq and Afghanistan have now climbed to 1,000 um, per month. Instead of letting go for one day, Kagan pushes for more boots, more of a global footprint, more opportunity for bloodshed and heartbreak, while his own family of academics and proponents of military force sit back as golden spectators in, uh, <clears throat> in demand at Washington panel discussions and media interviews. In his, Washington, uh, in his Wall Street Journal commentary, Kagan doesn't miss a chance to take um, a partisan shot at Obama, who doesn't want to grow the army as much as Kagan and McCain do. Funny, Obama's academic creds are similar to Kagan's, but Kagan never gets excoriated for being an aloof smarty pants. So these are conservatives writing in to the American uh, conservative um, magazine. Just uh, thought he'd like to know. Bye. <laughs>